Here we have real-time interactive ray tracing on these three PlayStation 3s here. Each one of them is connected over a gigabit network. We've got the client here, which is driving this, this 720p display, and we have two additional PS3s participating in the rendering. So we have three total PS3s participating in the rendering, and we're using this guy as a client as well. Each one of those PS3s under Linux allows us access to six SPEs. We ray cast and ray trace with five of those SPEs and use the sixth for an image compression in order to reduce the bandwidth on the, uh, on the gigabit. If we come over here, we can see that it's all fully interactive. We're controlling it on the controller here. You can see all the reflections of the environment, which are all dynamically calculated here. We also have dynamic lighting, which you can see, and atmosphere effects. All the shadows are being dynamically computed here. We can also see how they're split across these PS3s, or uh, across the PS3s. Each one of these horizontal lines is one of the PS3s. So you can see the client here is actually using one of the SPs for decoding, and then it uses one of the SPs for encoding. So we only have four available for ray casting and ray tracing. The top two have five available, and we reserve one for that image compression. Again, it's all fully interactive. We're doing four times super sampling on a 720p image. Here you can see with just ray casting and the shadow rays as well. And that's the uh, IRT.